Earth, Wind and Fire founder Maurice White, whose horn-driven band sold more than 90M albums and made hits like September, Shining Star and Boogie Wonderland, died in February at his home in Los Angeles. Maurice White, who was 74 years, suffered from Parkinson's disease and had retreated from the public even as the band he founded kept performing. At the time of his passing on, he was survived by his wife, his two sons, and his brothers Verdine and Fred. Earth, Wind and Fire, a nine-piece band featuring the two White brothers, singer Philip Bailey and the distinctive horn section, were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2000. The band's most successful period started with the 1975 album That's the Way of the World, and continued through the rest of the decade. Other hits included Serpentine Fire and a cover of The Beatles, Got to Get You Into My Life. Maurice White was born in Memphis in 1941, the son of a doctor and grandson of a New Orleans piano player. He showed musical gifts at an early age, studying at the Chicago Conservancy. During the 1960s, he backed Muddy Waters, The Impressions and others and worked as a session drummer in Chicago. In this video, we take you inside the earth, wind and fire founder Maurice White's old house, where he stayed for 38 years until his last day alive. On this channel, we feature such house details to highlight unique houses where various legends called home. You never know, you may also come across a unique house design or decoration idea. After the passing on of Maurice White, his house was sold off by the estate. Thereafter, the longtime Beverly Crest home of Earth, Wind and Fire singer Maurice White came on the market again for $4 million in 2020. White, who co-founded the groundbreaking soul funk ensemble, bought the house in 1978 for $340,000 and lived there until his death in 2016. He lived in this house for 38 years. After his death, the house was sold by his estate in 2018 to producer Seth Erzoff for $2.22 million. The Tudor-inspired two-story has taken on a fresh look since Erzoff took ownership. New wide plank wood floors, tile work, hardware and fixtures are among updates of note. In the gleaming white kitchen, dividers were removed and the space was reconfigured for a more open feel. Upstairs, an expanded master suite contains a bar, a two-way fireplace and a sitting room. There are four bedrooms and four bathrooms in 4,165 square feet of space. The property sits at the end of the guard-gated Bel Air Ridge community that has seven tennis courts. Views of the surrounding canyon and city lights abound. This house remains an icon as a result of its unique design and finish. Despite its simple decoration, which part of Maurice White's house did you like? Thank you for watching, remember to give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more of such unique house tours.